Hello. Shoutout the unknown here. It is an off stream day. It is a Monday, 28th of March, 2022, local time 2001. And I decided I wanted to do some level grinding, if you can even call it that. Um, I, I decided I want to do it now on an off day. I like to get it recorded. Um, you know, if someone drops by and chats or something, that's cool. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, that's about it. Simple one today. Not too much. I'll probably take care of a couple of Oblivion Gates. What was that about? Auto update spell. That was weird. Um, holy shit, I'm fast. Okay, a couple things have changed. <laughs> All right. So I got a. I went in and I looked at the um, Oblivion Combat uh, or no, Vanilla Combat Enhanced. I went in and looked at the mod settings on or the INI config file for that, and I changed a bunch of things. Well, not a bunch. I changed a handful of things. Uh, more to my liking because I was reading over more closely what that mod does and one of the things it does is uh, slows you down more um, it increases like the armor penalties and stuff um, for your speed which is probably part of why I've been feeling slow it also um, decreases the effect that athletics has on your um, on your uh on your speed so I didn't like that so I decided to put that back to vanilla so I'm way faster um, I also juggled around a couple mods and stuff um, I got a new mod and that was supposed to fix fall damage it, it didn't seem to work then I went in and disabled the fall damage fix in vanilla combat enhanced left the other mod on and now it works so if I do a big jump like that, I don't take a lot of fall damage. It's more in line with what you'd get on Morrowind, for instance. So I'm really happy about that. Fuck off, bear. I changed a couple things. I think, like, uh, some of the fatigue settings for like, how much fatigue you use uh, with your weapons and all that. Basically, I like the way that Vanilla did most things, I just kind of wanted to be dealing more damage and stuff, get rid of some of the damage sponginess. And I feel like Combat Enhanced wanted to do more of a balance, and that's not really what I wanted. Um, so I I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied, but probably going to be happier with what we have now. Um, so there's that. The other thing that I did is I ran across a mod called Lame, and I think it's Less Annoying Magic Experience. Now, if you look at my spells, they all have weird names. Uh, what these are, these are like key names or coded names. Um, so all the alteration spells start with A, right, for alteration. Conjuration starts with C. Uh, this is mine, so it's special. Illusion spells start with I. Mysticism with M. Restoration with R. So, the spells are much more organized. And then you you also get, like, you know, a bit more coding on the name. So, like, Restoration, Restore Health 1. Restore Health 2. So, it kind of helps group together, make it a little easier to find the spells that you're wanting. Um, hopefully. It also kind of makes them better. Uh, and I'm okay with that. The, you know, the argument on the mod page is like, if you go, if you're going into a dungeon and you want to like buff yourself, you want to put a shield and detect life and stuff on, they wear off in like 30 seconds though. By the time you burn all three, like the first one's halfway uh, worn off, right? So uh, the, the vanilla game had a philosophy of making spells like quick and you know, like you just cast it for one fight it might not even last an entire fight. Um, the philosophy with this mod is like, let's make your spells last longer. Um, maybe they end up costing more, sure, but let's make them last longer so they can kind of be more effective over, you know, multiple fights and everything. So even the uh, Restore Health, I notice, is better. Um, heal Minor Wounds used to be... I don't remember if it was... 
five or ten. I don't remember what heal minor wounds used to be, but now it's five points for four seconds. That's 20 health. Heal major wounds used to just be, I think, 25 health or 20 health. Now it's 10 points for four seconds, so that's 40 health. So they've gotten better. I think they do cost more. I think heal minor wounds was pretty low. Minor respite was either one or two magicka. Now it costs four magicka, but it restores a total of 250 fatigue, just over uh, 25 seconds. So I like I like that kind of change. Make the spells kind of count for something a little more. Um, I noticed here. I was just looking at them earlier. We have. Uh, Conjure, Conjuration Summon Undead, SU, and then we have Summon Daedra, SD. So that's a nice little way to group those. It's cool stuff. I, uh, I like the look of it. And I noticed Beast of Burden is 500 points for 360 seconds, which is fairly close to uh, my Feather Spell. So that's kind of cool. Uh, also, my Feather Spell seems to have reduced its cost. I don't know if that's... A side effect of the mod. I thought that used to cost me exactly 200. So whatever. Um, enough rambling. I'm supposed to be doing like levels and stuff. And I'm just gonna save. There is a um, an obli I almost said a Daedric gate. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word. An oblivion gate right here. Um, that I noticed, so let's go ahead and take it out. I know where, like, maybe two more are at, so I kind of want to hit those up as well. Um, you know, we like, we like getting the, tra uh, what are they called? Sigil stones, or... It's transcendent? That's not right. It is, transcendent sigil stones. We like those. We approve of them here. So, alrighty. Now that I'm faster, too. Yeah, see, I really hated that, you know, supposed balance or whatever. It's personal choice, and I'm glad it was configurable in an INI file. Um, but I really hated that rebalance because I did feel slow despite leveling up speed and athletics. I felt like I should have been faster. And their argument was basically that you're too fast and so it makes you know some enemies like slower enemies too trivial for their for their taste and like you know that's personal opinion if, if you think so that's fine um so by slowing the player down a bit slower enemies now become more um more threatening basically right but what's really cool about this is now I'm so much faster, it's going to make these Daedric, or these Obli- It's a Daedric. These Oblivion Gates are going to go a lot faster. Also, Detect Life looks better. Oh, shit. I like this magic mod. I really like this magic mod more than I thought I would. I think this just became a must-have for me. Um, Crystal and Curus. That's, that's worth a lot. Damn. Shit, I know the last thing I forgot to do. I was going to change the load order of one of my mods. Um, did they did they change potions as well? I can't figure that out. I don't know that that mod would change potions. Restore... Uh, let's find an existing one. That's all the same. Yeah, I'm not sure. Strong Potion of Healing. <clears throat> Seems to all be the same. Wait a minute. Is there not a door? Oh, there we are. Go up. Yeah, I really like this Detect Life change. I don't know how they did that. But it's really cool because it makes it easier to see what you're looking at. It makes it easier to see, like, what they're doing, where they're facing and such. 
Alright, I might as well pop some more chameleon. Let's fucking go! The one thing I... I don't want to say I hate it. I don't want to come off like that. But the one thing I, I kind of... It'll just take time to get used to. I don't really dislike it, but you can't really see... The texture and everything of the... Ooh, the fume vaults. That's a cool name. It's not where I was at, is it? It's hard to tell. Sometimes my mouse lags in menu. I was doing that last time. Okay, yeah, I have been here. I thought it was just saying Door to Oblivion Cave before, so I was like, that's a new name. Yeah, it kind of like takes away the texture from the the creatures and all that, so it might be incentive for me to not have detect life on when I'm in town or something. Take off my equipment that's doing detect life. We'll find that out over time. So yeah, what I'm planning on doing today, we'll take out a couple of these uh, gates, and then after that, head over and just buy some level ups, basically. Um, buy some training. I wanted to just get a few more skills kind of maxed out and taken care of. And I thought it'd be better to do this on a one-off stream rather than, like, we're gonna play the story, we're gonna do all the cool big dick stuff today, but then spend like an hour, you know, buying level ups and finding trainers and maybe doing trainer quests. I thought it'd be better to separate it. Finished my workout, finished my food, finished actual work. Have some time to myself tonight, so I thought, let's do it. Let's go. Ow. I don't care about those. Actually, Dispel... I did see Dispel is better now. I think you can use Dispel on, um... On summons to like banish them. So Dispel has like a, a much better use than it did in vanilla. We're gonna have to make some more uh, chameleon. Yeah, I super recognize this layout though. We've done this one a few times. Uh, let's see, what's my Bloodgrass stash looking like? Only 34. Could be worse. 34% for 118. Hmm. That's different, isn't it? So that's, uh, 102. I still need to eat three, but that's different. Oh, they don't weigh anything, though. Ooh. So yeah, the mod definitely changed something to do with potions. Oh, I should probably eat some, though. But I could still get away with, with uh, three chameleon potions if I want to go full chameleon. Always go full chameleon. grab that. I feel so much better. Um, I felt so slow before. It was like max speed, even max athletics. It was like, it's getting better, but it's really slow. Is it going to take me up? I, I think so. Alright, let's get that sigil. Let's 
pop out of here. Yo, what's up? Well, I appreciate the lurk. I would ask what you're up to, but never mind. Half here, half lurk. That's that's good. It's kind of, you know, an unplanned weird stream. Mostly focused on getting levels, but I'll take care of a few Oblivion Gates. We'll get out of there before they get mad. <laughs> now I have it on good authority that the next Oblivion Gate I want to go to is by Vilverin, like right by Vilverin. I know that because I was uh, just kind of testing around my fixed fall damage. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's a way better effect. But it's going to take time to get used to. Um, anyway, what I was saying was I was testing around my fall damage and I was like running down the mountain, jumping. And as I got down there, it's basically leading right to Vilverin. And I noticed a gate. Alright, so four times four, that'd be 2,000. They're pretty close to the same ratio, so I'll grab both. Have an effect on me. Yeah, that's new. Mod added that effect. That's cool. I like it. an ogre. That's a minotaur. I can actually tell because of the new detect life. Did this man just... Come on. What kind of oblivion gate do you have for me? Hopefully a good one. Tasty kind. Uh-oh. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not doing those jumps, by the way. It's just now that my speed is fixed and not gimped by that other mod. Or, well, it's still on, but now that my... Now that I fixed my speed, just running down hills like that, just I naturally get some lift off. It's my favorite. I need to remember that it's no longer an instantaneous spell. So I need to let it actually run its course. The Oblivion Gate's right over here by Vilverin. I want to have like a big primer, like a big discussion on lore because there's really cool stuff about um, like Kim and, and the universe, like what the universe is. Like, where is it? Am I not at Vilverin? Did I? Maybe I was looking at the wrong place. I thought it was Vilverin. I guess I'm just not close enough yet. Should be Vilverin. Um, there's really cool stuff about like. You know, the structure and the nature of the universe here, and Dragon Breaks, and Kim, and all that cool stuff. I have like a big primer slash discussion on it. Well, I mean, I, I could even talk about stuff at the moment, because... Just... I... Huh. 
So earlier I was seeing an Oblivion Gate that I thought was right here. Now I'm not. I could swear it was Vilverin. And that's where we are. It could have been something different, but the only other... I think I might have went through Aleswell. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna warp to Aleswell. Um, but yeah, I was doing some reading because I keep kind of talking about Kim. And it shows up in like the Mythic Dawn books and all that that I was reading yesterday and the, the day before. And I, I'm kind of alluding to it. I'm describing it as this like you know, thing basically where, you know, you come to an understanding of the universe. Okay, there's an Oblivion Gate this way. This is the one I was seeing, I think. I was just a little off base on exactly where. Um, what's going on, Peppermint? So, um, you come to like this understanding of the universe and basically if you're able to not be... I would almost say uh, driven mad. He's like Lovecraftian terms, but if you're able to like withstand that knowledge and that understanding, then you can achieve essentially like a, a godhood kind of status. Um, so what it is is the structure, like the the nature of the universe itself, is that. Um, there's a thing called the Godhead, and the Godhead is basically the most important single thing because it's actually what holds everything together. Um, the Godhead is some figure uh, that is dreaming. Everything else, all the Aedra, the Daedra, Nern, Tamriel, well, Tamriel's on Nern, right? But Nern. The planes of oblivion, everything are all a part of this dream that the Godhead is dreaming. Everything. So if the Godhead wakes up, then everything stops. All this, this game is gone. Maybe that's why the game crashes. Maybe the Godhead woke up. Stop dreaming. So yeah, you don't want the Godhead to stop dreaming if you live here because you are no more. But what the, what this like knowledge is then is when somebody gains an understanding that they are basically not real, that they are just a figment of the Godhead's imagination, they are just a dream, um, one of two things can happen. The first is that they basically cannot... Um, they can't... I don't, I don't want to say comprehend, but they basically um, can't reconcile that knowledge because it's kind of contradictory. It's like... How can I exist if I don't exist, if I'm a figment of an imagination, right? So that kind of thing is, is what I mean by being driven mad, almost. Um, and if you're not able to reconcile those two things, if the paradox is too much for you, then you do what's called zero-summing. And you basically just collapse in on yourself, you are no more. <laughs> the knowledge of you being a dream was too much for you. The other option is Kim, and Kim is what happens when, in the face of that paradox, you are able to maintain your own sense of self, your, whether you want to call it like ego, or, or I don't know what the best word for it would be, but if you're able to retain your sense of self in the face of that paradox, that you are not real, you are a dream, essentially, you are a part of a dream, then you have achieved Kim. Um, you basically assert, no, I, I mean, I know I'm not real, but also I am real, and I'm going to maintain my sense of self. Boom, I'm basically a god now. So there's only been a couple instances uh, of known people who have achieved Kim, but there's been a lot of instances of people like zero-summing, and that's one theory of what happened to the uh, dwarves, is that they zero-summed. Uh, when they activated Numidium, when they use Kagranex tools on the heart of Lorcan to activate Numidium, they, um, again, it's not necessarily... Oh, is this guard going to end up fighting? No? Okay. When they used uh, Kagranex tools to activate Numidium, uh, 
that maybe they were granted that kind of knowledge of the universe and that knowledge that they are just a dream of the godhead and that they're not real and the dwarves being guided by reason and logic rather than being guided by the gods in particular were not able to reconcile that in their uh, belief systems and thus zero summed and that's why all the dwarves just disappeared out of nowhere um, back when they activated Numidium that's that's an idea but it's really cool um, we have the example the two main examples of people achieving Kim is Vivek and uh, uh, Tiber Septum <laughs> that, that feel when you find out Elder Scrolls is cosmic horror in disguise so there's another cool thing and it's something I've talked about a bit and it is the uh, the dragon break right and that one's um, a lot more uh, mainstream I think oh actually there's one more thing there's one more thing so Kim is this idea right of maintaining your sense of self there's something else you can do and it's called Amaranth and if you have basically achieved Kim you have that understanding of the wait a minute now it's here now it's here by Vilverin. This is where I was at earlier. Anyway, um, if you have reached that point of achieving Kim, maintained your sense of self, all that good stuff, you can then do another thing that's called Amaranth. And what it basically is, is you kind of like, in a way, sacrifice yourself to break out of the dream of the Godhead and become your own, you become a new Godhead and you crash the game. So the Godhead just woke up. That's why the game crashed. No, but you become your own Godhead and you now dream your own dream. You now have your own universe, basically. So you kind of become the, the fabric of another universe. Um, and so that's like yet another thing that can go on at the, at the highest levels. I don't know of any cases in the lore of that having happened, but it is a thing that is, is like described. Um, so the other thing going on to the, the dragon break, because it's really interesting. And we read a book at the end of yesterday's stream. <laughs> Oh, because this game crashes? I didn't know this game was locking down Steam. Shit. I, uh, I didn't have Chameleon on yet. Yeah, I didn't know this game was locking down Steam. Um, so we read a book at the end of yesterday's stream called um, The Warp in the West. And it's a really cool book. Recommended reading when you find it in, El in an Elder Scrolls game. And it's all about the event that is kind of colloquially known as the Warp in the West. Very important event. One of the most important events um, in the lore and the history of the games. So what is the Warp in the West? Um, it is an example of a dragon break. And what is a dragon break? Um, well, to understand that, I'm going to just first kind of loop in um, the gods. And the main one here that we care about... Wait, where's my body? Oh, because I'm chameleon. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, the main one we want to talk about here is Akatosh. And Akatosh is the god of time. Akatosh is associated with having essentially created the concept of linear time. So prior to that, everything is all just like mishmash and kind of nonsensical, you know, nothing that really makes sense to a mortal, for instance. Um, and it, it makes life very difficult for mortals because they, they can't really process what's going on. So Akatosh comes in and says, all right, I'm, in, I'm gonna, you know, be the god of time. I'm gonna give you this concept of linear time. It's gonna be cool. Um, Akatosh is represented by the dragon. So sometimes, pun intended, time. Sometimes these events happen where everything just kind of gets screwed up. Time gets all weird. Um, multiple contradictory events seem to be happening at the same time. So um, people will make it through this and they'll all have different memories about what happened and they all conflict with each other. Yet 
they all seem to have happened at the same time. So this is the concept of the Dragon Break, and call it that because time time is kind of broken, or you could say like Akatosh or the Dragon has broken. So it's a Dragon Break. Um, that's where the name comes from. So the example and and where it even came from in the lore is from Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. And that's what the the book, The Warp in the West, is about. It's about Daggerfall. Because Bethesda was like, yo, we're gonna let the player make decisions and choose their ending. We're gonna give them a bunch of different endings they can choose from. But now we wanna make a sequel to the game. And that poses a problem, because we have only a couple of options. We can be really vague and kind of try to make it, you know, unclear about what happened at the end of Daggerfall. Or we could pick an ending and say, that's the real one. That's the canonical ending. But then that runs the problem of, you know, potentially making players feel like their decisions in Daggerfall didn't matter. So instead, they wrote the concept of the Dragon Break into the lore. So now, uh, ever since the end of Daggerfall, um, They've introduced Dragon Breaks and other pieces of lore and other parts of the series. But a way to think about it is if my hand here represents like linear time, all of a sudden Dragon Break happens. Now we have five different timelines running and then Dragon Break is over. It collapses back into like a single into a single linear uh, timeline. But people lived all of those simultaneously all of those different things happened it's kind of like a mandela effect or something right where you you remember like wait a minute that's not how i remember it but you remember it differently than i do so that's like the concept of the dragon break and we get these cool descriptions in the book um the warp in the west we get these cool descriptions of like different accounts of what happened but what what we also get in the book is like the main rundown of the before and after. So, um, Miracle of Peace, according to official accounts, the formerly war racked Iliac Bay region was transformed overnight from a patchwork of squabbling duchies and petty kingdoms into the peaceful modern counties of Daggerfall, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Orsinium. Um, so it went from like 40 or 44 or something different regions down to just the four main ones literally over like one day um it, it, it was on the ninth of frostfall and then nobody remembers the tenth of frostfall and then you're on the eleventh of frostfall and it's like boom everything is different like people own different amounts of land and like everything is changed like overnight <laughs> And we get some cool descriptions in this book. I'm not going to read it again because it takes like 15 minutes. But is one of the most interesting concepts in the game. And you could also possibly relate that back to, uh, to some other things. Because every time Numidium, which was that big bronze colossus god that the uh, dwarves were building. Every time Numidium is activated, it basically triggers a dragon break and things go haywire. Because Numidium was originally built with, um, this is the last one I was going for, I believe. Um, Numidium was originally built um, around Lorcan's. That's actually not the one I was thinking of, but it was originally built um, to use Lorcan's heart, and Lorcan is literally the god that um, created Nern. And the moons are actually purportedly Lorcan's uh, body. So they used his heart to make the, um, hang on. All right, they used his heart to power Numidium, and when they activated it, again, that's where they also disappeared. But there also seemed to be conflicting accounts of what happened around there, particularly involving things like the death of Lord Nerevar. How did he die? Who betrayed who? What happened? You have all these conflicting accounts in one explanation, is that it could be a dragon break as well. Um, as well as what I talked about with the dwarf zero summing. Get ready for your notification, copper. <laughs> so that's another interesting thing to, uh, to consider uh, in the context of maybe even looping both of those together. You had another instance of 
Tiberseptum activating Numidium. And then uh, you had another instance of Numidium being activated, this time not with Lorcan's heart, but with um, something called the Mantella. Actually, I think Tiberseptum used the Mantella as well. I might be wrong in that. Lore in this stuff is, is batshit, but I love it. Because you can get into some interesting stuff. A lot of the, the craziest stuff comes from Michael Kirkbride. And he worked on... I, I think he was there... I don't know what his first game was. I'm sure he was there for Daggerfall. But he wrote a lot of the lore in, like, Morrowind. And um, I think Oblivion as well. And he came up with a lot of these concepts, as far as I know. And he's written a lot of stuff outside the context of the game. So, you know, people like to argue what's canon, what's not canon. I don't really care so much about that. But people do like to have those arguments and those debates. So I think it's important to just, you know, keep that in mind. Some of this stuff was written outside of the context of the games. Um, okay, I don't think this is where I want to go. We did one of these before. I don't remember how I solved this one. Well, it links to another tower. We can we can do it. Okay, good. So, um, Kirkbride's written a lot of interesting things, and, you know, we gotta keep in mind that the first four Elder Scrolls games all take place within, you know, like one lifetime. Relatively short amount of time. And then this game, the Oblivion Crisis, marks the end of the third era. Brings us into the fourth era. And then suddenly, 200 years later, is Skyrim. Huge time skip there, but it's still the fourth era, right? So, those things that have been written outside of the game are actually, there's some stuff in like the 5th era, there's even some stuff in like the ninth era about like these, like, Nurn is destroyed and everything is kind of like, you know, screwed up, everything kind of sucks and there's like this sentient mining robot that gets sent back to the first era and then there's ways to maybe link that to some things in um, both Skyrim and Elder Scrolls Online and again, some of that's not necessarily official, it's not in the games, but it's very interesting. There's a, this lore surrounding this game is nuts. But it's also important to realize that, you know, when, even though I say it's not in the game, it is written by someone who worked on the games. So it's not like super just, you know, it's not some random guy that just started writing fan fiction or something. Doesn't mean it will be used in in an official capacity, but it'd be pretty cool if it is. I think I had something else I was gonna mention as well, but oh yeah, I mean even within the context of the game, we have the Battle Spire, which that's a, a game that doesn't get as much attention, but the Battle Spire is essentially like a spaceship. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, what is space in Elder Scrolls? Space, to my understanding, the void of space is actually oblivion, but people are not able to comprehend it, so they just perceive it as the void of space. Because nothing can be simple. And uh, I think one time I read something about the uh, about stars themselves being um, like different gates to... Uh, to oblivion. Okay, I'm gonna go to this place. Or different, like, different planes of oblivion or something. And then that's what people are, that's what the stars are, is like the gateways, I guess. It's like, you can get some crazy shit on here. Yeah, this is the last portal that I knew about and that I really wanted to, to do. And then we'll do some level ups, and then that'll be it. I don't know how long the level ups are going to take. You found a gate to oblivion. 
We gotta check our uh, sigil stones after this and see what I'm rocking. Yes, blood grass. This is the same one I just did a few minutes ago, isn't it? hop off just just hop over everything it's great activate Daggerfall's climbing skill <laughs> that is one of my favorite things to do on here is to like just jump up against a wall and just hug it and it's basically climbing Yeah, I definitely need to be careful about, um, these chameleon potions. I feel like I'm starting to run a bit low on blood grass. I'm interested that the effect of the potion seems to have been reduced by the mod, not rather than strengthened. But it's okay. We'll, we'll adapt. I still need three anyway, it's not making me need more potions. Please let me get to the Sigillum Sanctus very quickly. I'd prefer not to use another set of chameleon potions. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to. I was hoping that was the door. Alright, well, we just made it up here, too. No, we're not done. Never mind. Because, yeah, we're not at the roof. At the roof. Ow. If I come across any more Oblivion Gates throughout my training session today, then I'll do them. But this is the last one I'm intentionally seeking out. Long sort of voltage, not very good. Save in case we crash. Boom, we're done. Now I gotta find out where I'm gonna go for training first. We're near Shaden Hall. I can go to Shaden Hall and inquire about restoration training. That's probably a good start. not wait. Well, waiting also tells me that I'm close enough to, uh... Oh, we're right by Shaden Hall. We'll do it anyway. Fast travel, baby. Oh, I think we crashed. We did. We totally fucking crashed. Yeah, this game went more unstable. I think, unfortunately, I think one or both of the new mods might be screwing with things. And I really like... I really like them. I could try disabling one of them and see if it if my fall damage is still fine. But I, I really like this magic one. I'd like to keep it. <sighs> Did I save in the open world? Because it's a long loading, yeah. Is it? Whoa. Oh, I hit R. Oh, I need a clock mod. That's one thing I need. 
be nice to have a clock on screen. Found one of those for Daggerfall. That's pretty nice. There's like different styles of clock and everything. And it's one of those convenience things, right? Because I could always just open up the menu. Even if I can't hit the rest menu, I could open up the map and it shows me the time there. So it's like, yeah. I mean, technically I could do that to find out what time it is, but that's annoying. It's a waste of time. This detect life's uh, effect is so much better than the last one. All right. It's Ot Otessa? Otessa? I, I do remember this one. It's time for you to leave, my friend. A pleasure to speak. Um, training. For advanced training, seek out Oletta. She serves Akatosh at his temple in Kavach. That's awkward. She can teach you all you need to know. Speak with Oletta at the chapel of Akatosh. There's much I can... Take care. Well, it's a good thing we've already rescued the people in Kavach, right? Oh, let's check our, um, stones. Damage health for... Oh, these are different, aren't they? Maybe not. Fortify blade, blunt hand to hand. Oh, I know why they did that, because it's three different damage types. Yeah. Whoa, what? Paralyze five seconds on strike. Or we get detect life, water breathing, water walking, resist disease, and res restore health on strike. What? These are changed. I don't believe these were part of the game originally. I think they've changed. I think this mod changed them. Yeah. Chameleon 5%. That's not very much. Better let me enchant. <laughs> enchant more than that. Whatever. I'll figure it out over time. I, I don't know if I'm ever even going to do that, to be honest. I don't find it that necessary to do too much enchanting, personally. I just like waiting until I find really good enchanted stuff. Is finished. Greetings, Traveler. What do you seek? I like their eyeballs <laughs> and mouths. You have helped to save Kavach, or what is left of it. For that, I can do nothing less than help you spread healing throughout Cyrodiil. I shall offer you whatever skill I have. I'm willing to teach if you're willing to learn. Pay attention. I'm, I'm willing, willing to teach. There's, There's much, much I can teach. You've, You've got, got a lot. lot. Knowledge is... Pay attention. attention. Let's, Let's see if we, we can't teach. Let's see if we can't... Can. There's, There's much, much I can... I can show you some knowledge is knowledge is there's much I can The secret energies of the human body have not surrendered their mysteries easily to you. You're now a master of restoration and can cast master level restoration spells. A gate opened and Deidre poured out. Everybody ran. I don't know how the fire started, but it burned Kavach to the ground. A gate opened. I don't know. Yeah, I was curious why that option was there twice. I don't like how it looks in conversation, so I have an idea. I have multiple ideas. I have to save again after this, but... Wizards, gauntlets, and helmet. Too. 
botch was rebuilt from ruins once before and she'll do it again. I lie down for the smell of cool. I can now take them off easily. And I can easily repair. Should I rest and meditate on what I've learned? Yes, I should. Can I use one of these? Hello, Tusk! What you up to? Luck. Okay, next up is a speechcraft. I don't know where to go for that. Speechcraft, um, they're in Vamori in Brazil, in, I said Brazil, in Braville. Veron Vimori, Vamori, in Braville. See, it's not bad, is it? Berserk 2016 is not that bad. It's a good story. They did a good job, in my opinion, adapting the story in a limited amount of time. It's not perfect, but they did a. They were pretty faithful to the manga. They didn't make a lot of changes. Berserk 97 made way more changes in 2016. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Training. Knowledge. Let's. Let's see. Let's get. There's much. Knowledge. You've got a knowledge. Let's get. There's much. I can show you knowledge. Hello, friend. Have you ever heard one of Tandlewee's sermons at the Temple of the One? Tandlewee. That woman knows how to orate. You should consult it's in the, her. I'm sure she it's can one in the Imperial you. City, right? Shadow Hydra. Ready to level up again. Uh, you got goosebumps from something. What was it? Let me also do something real quick. Let me turn on my save manager. Where's it at? Oops. Cargo run. Boom. Just moved a bunch of saves out of the folder. I love it. I haven't been running it today. Unfortunately, we've been crashing a lot. It's been crazy today. I actually don't know if this is where she... Okay, yeah, she's here. I hope I can help. You would seek to better yourself. First, I would ask that you look to the poor and the suffering around Cyrodiil. Travel to all of our cities and speak what? to the unfortunate souls forced to beg for change. Talk to every beggar? Into their hearts and then look into your own. Return to me when you have spoken with all of them. Then we shall talk of training. There are still poor so You alright, I'm relying on quest markers for this shit. You better. No? Yo, this is gross. Why are you gonna make me talk to every beggar in the game? Um, Serpico and Guts, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the openings are really good. Are you in Season 2 yet, or are you still in Season 1? Still in- okay. I don't know which opening I like more, because they're both really good. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to give them money. How do I know if I found them, though? This quest is dumb. 
<laughs> what are you doing? You have the hands. The Count always says that Leowin stands alone, but your actions proved him wrong. Well done. Bye. Whoa! Die, unbeliever! Y'all saw that he attacked me, right? Singor's key. It looked like he was Mythic Dawn. I think Mythic Dawn are after me. There's a charge in the air. Then casting some destruction spells. Well met. Bolskus is a interesting character. Wait, are you the guy from the uh, Imperial City? What is it, Associate? No. This quest is dumb. I'm just going to say it again. <laughs> Talk to every beggar in the game. Any word of Alaron? No, I forgot about... I forgot about your husband. <laughs> Watch this, Tusk. Watch my fall damage. It's actually reasonable now. Yeah, I told you I fixed it. Thank you. Blessings of Anu upon ye. You've got a real bounce to your step. What's your name? Wretched Aya. Another one? Oh, I bet you wish you didn't do that. Mythic Dawn commentaries, yep. Yeah. Do you get like two coins? Thank you. Thank you. Cuz you tried to help me. What am I looking at? Why is there a guard down there? Is that a guard? Can I get there? He's outside of the city walls. But we don't have open cities, so he's not supposed to be able to do that. I'm gonna turn his collision off so he can get back in the city. Alright, you're welcome, guard. I talked to two beggars here. There's usually like two in every city, as far as I know. Go to Skingrad. I wasn't expecting this quest. This quest is gross. And they don't even give me... The one time they don't give me quest markers, so if one city has like three beggars and I don't know it, then I'm just gonna... Mm, like, I'm just gonna be screwed? Okay. I see someone laying down over there and someone laying down over there. One more coin. And I have to. Thank, thank. Blessings of our. I'm gonna check the other side over there just to be safe. 
It is good to be out at night looking for beggars for a day. with Detect Life. Thank you. Thank because they'll, they'll be really obvious to spot because they'll be sleeping on the ground. Oh, this is the marksman trainer, yeah. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for skin grad. Next. Um, definitely not Kavach. Anvil. Greetings to you. You're easy to find. One more. That, that. Blessings of standard upon you. It's penniless Olaf or something like that. Yeah, there's no one out over here. We can go towards my house. Uh oh, my right ear just stopped working. Oops. I you missed a fun discussion on Laura Tusk. I went to the crazy Laura in this game. Copperbeard was chatting and he was like, that feel when you learned the Elder Scrolls was a cosmic horror game and you didn't know it. Are you the preacher guy? Yeah. I have. Why? I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Thank you. Thank you. All right, another town yes. done. Coral. This isn't like super difficult. It's just time consuming. And I don't know, like again, I don't know if I'm gonna miss one, right? Shit, I meant to sleep at my house. I did see a Morrowind meme about it. Another... Hugo Ballet. Oh, he's dead now. I am. And I'm wanted by the Mythic Dawn. They keep trying to kill me. Judging by your name, you're lazy. I don't think it's fair to dismiss, you know, homeless people as being lazy. But his lazy is in his name. So he shouldn't be complaining that he's hungry. He should stop being lazy. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw a couple memes of it. Like I said, I saw the Morrowind one. I don't know that it's like... I don't know that I'm that interested in it personally, but... If, it's, if there's a good meme, there's a good meme, you know. I have to know where this was just leading me. Because it looked like it was going somewhere. Oh, it's just back behind. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, Bruma time. Bruma, Shaden Hall, and we got a bunch of beggars in the Imperial City. I think in like multiple uh, districts. Oh, he just walked into the wall. Thank, thank. You know what's weird? They talk about their children, but there are no children in the game. I always find it weird when they don't put children in games. But they talk like... Well, no, I do find it weird. Like, why are they no... Why, why are there no children in Elder Scrolls games? There are in Skyrim. But why are there no children in other Elder Scrolls games? Or why are there no children in, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto or something? You expect me to believe there's this entire city and I'm never going to see a single child. Like, I have a hard time buying that. Oh yeah, you exist. I wonder if I'm going to get attacked by a Mythic Dawn dude. I don't see why that should matter if there are children, like, uh, you know, I don't see what that has to do with children being in the game, though. Alright, I don't see a second beggar here. There might not be one? I'm going to go ahead and say there, there might not be one and just... I'm tempted if we get back through and I make, a, I make a true effort to talk to all of them and then I get to the Imperial City and it's like, oh, by the way, you missed one. Then I might just uh, look up the console command to tell the game that I talked to them all. Because <laughs> I don't care. Shoulders are kind of like stiff. Not as stiff as this dick, though. I don't know if it's late enough for them to be sleeping. Wait another hour. Because I think we just saw one a moment ago, right when I loaded in here, but I didn't want to start talking to him yet. I wanted to wait until they're sleeping so they don't move around. Ooh, I thought that was another crash. Who are you? You're one? That man got drunk. Yeah, all these beggars like to tell me about how their children will appreciate the coin. And I don't see a single child. So we got one there. Sometimes the mouse just slows down there, it's weird. I mean, maybe they are lying. Makes you wonder where people come from if there are no children here.
This guy's just still drunk. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Good. Glad I checked around again. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Thank you. Thank you. Get some medicine, hopefully. Zips. All right, now it's just the Imperial City. I mean, we could start with Talos Plaza District and I can just go through each one. I'm gonna wait... 19 hours. Wait, what? I'm getting attacked. Oh, you done fucked up. You know, fucked up, lady. So got us to midnight. Midnight 01. What? Another one? I just want to relax. Good God. This is annoying. Now I got a math again. Um, I don't know happen again. There's there's probably multiple here in the Imperial City, and they're walking around and finding me. Oh, we cr I've never crashed on a on a rest before. That's new. That's very new. Yeah, I'm afraid the new mod slash mods may have made things a little unstable. I don't know, to be fair though, we just played for a good chunk of time without crashing. I don't know. It's too hard to tell. So, so get us to a good hour. Same thing happened. He got some hops. This man decided he wanted to join in. Oh, they just stunned it. It's not dead. They're having a hard time killing her this time. Man down. Man down. Oh, this dude just looted the guard. I do not fear death. That was a clusterfuck, wasn't it? Probably shouldn't do that too much, though, Tusk. I mean, particularly when it's going down, it's not that bad, but still. Probably get attacked here in another hour or so. No, not yet. That was a fun fight to watch, though, wasn't it? That was good. How do I get to this lady? It's a dude, okay. My children will find you. Find you. 
blessings of art. So there's one. I don't know. Should I expect to find any more in here? Doesn't look like it. Unless they're up walking around this late. Those are both guards, right? Yeah. Okay, so where does this lead? Temple District. I need to go to the Elven Gardens. Let's go to the Elven Gardens. Loop back to the temple. I also gotta check the waterfront. I mean, I don't get boners that frequently. I get... I do get random boners, but... If... <laughs> The thing was, I can't understand how your character just stands there in public for hours without the fear of getting a boner. Like, I don't know, I don't think it's that big of a problem. I'm only asking for that, that Are you blessings of Oh, it's the adoring fan. You look weird with the uh, detect life. We do got to go to the waterfront, because I know they exist at the waterfront. YOLO! Survived a loading screen. That looks like one. I'll only ask it. You're gonna feed your kids, okay. I don't entirely believe that you have them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look up the console command if I if I missed a beggar during all this. Because we did we didn't seem to find one in Bruma. Or we only found one, rather. We didn't seem to find a second one, which is the norm. Is that two? I just remembered something. I think you can watch them train and you'll actually level up some skills. It's kind of sexy. Um, so where did I come from? Market? Next would be... Arboretum, I think. We need to do Green Emperor Way as well. Uh, probably was, kind of, yeah. Everyone has one. Speak. See, look at this person. They'll have one. Please be generous, kind. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings of the shadow. She had like a helmet on and stuff. Where am I at again? Arboretum. Next will be the Temple District. Or... Where does this go? City Isle. Out toward the Arcane University. I need to go to Green Emperor Way and check it out. And then we'll go to the... Um, waterfront. Hit up the beggars there, and then hope I've done enough. This is perhaps the worst quest I've seen. Also, now that I've fixed my speed and it's not so awful, at least I can get from point A to point B a little more efficiently. Alright, I don't think Green Emperor Way has one. Let's be lazy. 2.25 a.m. It's gonna be like 5, 6 a.m. some reason, fast traveling takes way longer than if you do it yourself. Sometimes. It seems inconsistent.
No, it barely moved time at all. I've had it do worse. Armand Christophe out here? No. It is a privilege to see you again. Rudy! Jashiv's no wait. Did I go wait what? I just tried I just pressed E on the crab and it like gave me a note. Protect other. What? And who does protect Jashivra uh Jish Jashivriza from crazy Bosmer? What? Did that give me a quest? I didn't see what popped up on the screen when I read that. I'm only asking for enough to feed me, kid. That, that. Blessings of the shadow of Hidden Mother. What is it now? If you're looking to buy cheap spells, All right, I guess we're done here. We got to go to the temple district. I don't know if there were any there. I didn't really look. That's the place where the actual person's at anyway. Trainer. Let's just go in the temple. I'm gonna look up the console command if this doesn't work. I hope I can help. You have seen the beggars. You have, I hope, used your powers of speech to raise their spirits. Oh, I just gave them money. Now I can help you to improve <laughs> those powers, to help make lives better. There's much I knowledge. I can show. There's much good that you want to get. Persuasion, wheedling, cajoling, and coercing are all tools of speechcraft. They are tools you seek to excel in. You're now an expert of speechcraft. When trying to persuade a character, you suffer less disposition penalty from the most disliked action. Let's see if we can. You've got a lot. I can show you some knowledge. I can show you. Pay attention. I stopped counting. Knowledge. That threw me off, so I have no idea where we're at now. Mouse, why are you slow? I don't know if it's something actually wrong with the mouse, but I haven't noticed it except anywhere anywhere except for in this game. I'm willing to I can show you there's much knowledge. I can show let's see if I can show you some let's see if we can knowledge. Let's get to training. Just about done. Let's see if we let's see if we let's get to training. Oh no, we're less than a hundred thousand now. Knowledge. Persuasion, wheedling, cajoling, and coercing are all tools of speechcraft. They're tools you would seek to excel in. You're now a master of speechcraft. When trying to persuade a character, bribery costs half of what it would normally. That also means we can now hit our theoretical maximum level. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna do a couple other things. Actually, I should check. What's next, training-wise? Slow mouse, why? I'm, I'm wiggling it in circles trying to see if it can happen again, but it doesn't want to. Um, the next one I would probably want to do is Conjuration and Destruction. Yeah. I know where the master uh, conjuration trainer is. I think it's Mo yeah, Malak Ball's shrine. Let's just do it. No one's pointed me there, but I just remember reading about it. Mm.
Olin Saren. You have pleased Molag Baal. Blessed is the one who spreads the seeds of descent. You would seek training from me? Yes. Well, then my request is small. Prove to me that you are capable of serving Molag Baal in your own way. I mean, I did. Summon a faded wraith right here before me. When I have seen it with my own eyes, you shall be worthy of my teachings. I better have that spell. Praise... Faded Wraith. Oh, my skill's too low. I need 75. That's booty. All right, we're going to spam Conjuration for a few minutes. Until I can do that. Conjuration's not the slowest to level. Is there a cheaper summon, by the way? No. Okay. It's only one level. Oh, man. So how you guys doing? Hope you're doing all right. My drink's empty. No. Seventy two. Yeah, it's weird. I actually pissed myself earlier, and my pants are still a little damp. It's awkward. Can't wait for them to dry out. Such bait out of nowhere. Part of that sentence was true. They just didn't get fully dry after the wash. Yeah, I could have done with just two potions, apparently. It's fine. So we just hit 73. This should be more than enough to get us up to 75. Yep, that was 74. Gotta be close, right? Through steady practice, you have discovered more creatures to summon from the plains of oblivion. You're now an expert in conjuration magic and can cast expert level conjuration spells. Which means faded wraith.
You have pleased Molag Bal. I am impressed. You have proven yourself worthy and have earned my respect. What I know, I shall teach to you for a fee. Fee. All right. You've got a one. Let's see. It. Two. Knowledge. Three. Let's see. It. Four. Pay attention. Five. Knowledge. I'm willing to. Seven. Pay attention. Eight. Knowledge. Nine. There's much and ten. There's much. Eleven. Let's get twelve. Knowledge. Thirteen. Good that you want. Fourteen. Knowledge. Fifteen. Let's see. It. Sixteen. There's much. Let's get to eighteen. I'm willing to nineteen. Knowledge. Twenty. Knowledge. Last five levels. Got, I'm willing to. You've got a and last adventure. level. Through steady practice, you've discovered more creatures to summon from the plains of oblivion. You're now a master of conjuration magic and can cast master level conjuration spells. Praise be to the Lord Mola. So that skeleton used to cost seven. Now it only costs four. That's a nice dip. Um, so level 5 Daedra summons are Dramora Lord and Storm Atronach. Level 5 Undead are Lich and Spectral Warrior. Now Spectral Warrior costs 200. It must be good. That's brutal. Alright. So we're done with Conjuration. Destruction. Mark Gillette at the Mages Guild, or... What is destruction? It's over 70, right? Yeah. Weatherlay and the Way Shrine of Julianos. I don't know if I know where Weatherlay is at. Means I need I may need to reference a map. Maybe over here. Let's see, Way Shrine of Kinnereth. Between Skingrad and Coral. So not far from here. Let's look like we're going to Sanguine Shrine. I mean, there's a thing right there. Am I pointing to it? Okay, yeah, I'm pointing to something. We just saved though, right after the training. I'm gonna get a drink. We need to go like west ish. So, what am I pointing at? Am I pointing at a new one? No. Let's cut more like this. I was just about to say right when we crashed that, oh no, I'm afraid. What if, if there's an oblivion gate? Because you know I'm going to do it. Something going on there. <laughs> oh, I have two followers. I have the skeleton and the other thing. That's cool. They seem to be lost, though.
had a hard time keeping up with me. Stay away from that gablin. Am I pointing to... Yeah, I'm pointing to that. So let's not go there. Here's another thing up here that I... I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't have marked. We're so fast now, I love it. I wish I knew it was that easy to fix all along. Weatherlay! Weatherlia? <laughs> no one's in here, because we'd already see them. We detect life, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not actually where I want to be. It's near Weatherlay. That was the easiest place to find. Near the Way Shrine of Kinnereth, southwest of Weatherlay. That. Oh, that's the Julianos. And it also mentions Julianos. That might be it right there. It's a Daedric Shrine, actually. Oh yeah? How so? Are they bald? That's the most important question. Alright, I feel like this is uh, pretty far to have traveled. I'm starting to doubt that I'm in the correct area. We're going to turn back this way. We got a high vantage point. So I'm not sure if that's it or not. Or is that what I just looked at? Can't really tell. Gate, you know I have to do it. Uh, what was he playing? Like guitar, drum, what? Guitar? Nice. I don't know if you've ever seen him, but there's a dude, uh, Blast Bit Metal Drumming, or... Is that it? Blast Bit Metal Drumming? I think Copper would know. I haven't seen him in a while, because I'm bad at watching Twitch streams. But he's pretty good. I went and looked at some of his VODs a while back. Since I don't get to catch streams live that often.
Here we are. I need more blood grass. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Alright, not thank you. Fuck you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Loading. <laughs> yeah, some people get pretty... It can get kind of interesting. I'm not going to name names because I actually like his content. Um, so I don't want to like say kind of negative things about him on a video <laughs> on a public thing like this but there is a YouTube channel um, of a guy who's really good at guitar really good at theory and everything and he has a certain persona that he puts out and it can be a little I guess kind of cringy sometimes still like his content he's a really good guitarist he does good analyses of things. He'll be like, let's check out this this song, and I'm gonna break down all the theory and everything behind this song. What makes this song good? What makes this song memorable? Here are the tricks. Doom. Doom 2. Tricks and traps. What a great level. Another sigil stone, let's do it. Real talk, I pushed myself pretty hard today. I took a couple minutes off cardio, but I upped the resistance a good bit. Is this it? Yeah, it is. This is the guy. Apparently not. That's a skelly. That's a skelly bro. What are you running off to? Where are you going, step bro? It just had a skeleton here. They're unconscious. Are they over here fighting? So they're essential. They can't die, which is good. Because that is my trainer. Where are they? I don't... My detect life is not showing me anything. I think I can catch deer now. They're unconscious again. Yeah, I can catch deer.
They keep falling unconscious, though, and I don't know where they're at. I might have to... I think I'm going to use another Detect Life spell. <laughs> if I stack another one, it might make them easier to find. Let's see... Mysticism... 80 feet. Let's go for it. Do you see anything? Because I sure don't. There's like a deer. That's Daedra. Because they were here for the Oblivion Gate. That's an ogre. Where are they? Why do they keep falling unconscious? start killing everything. Another gate. Damn it. I'll maybe go there soon. I want to get all the gates, but man, they're annoying. Unconscious again, huh? We have ghosts over here. It's pretty spooky. Not enough magic, uh, what if I fix that? Not like in the shrine. I would have seen them. Like if they were in the ground or something. I just find it weird that it's telling me, yeah, they're unconscious. Why? Why is it telling me that they're unconscious? They seem to be too far away for me to even see them. This is a strange phenomena. They had a skeleton out here, and it's gone. Presumably it expired. Huh. I don't know. So let's wait an hour or something. Ah. Something's happening over there. Is that him? There's a fight going on. Yeah. 
That's him. Sure tells me about that from a very long way away, doesn't it? So I'm pretty sure this is who I've been looking for. And they're waking up perfect. Go away, stranger. You frighten the animals and make my work more difficult. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a terrible job of whatever you're doing anyway. Go away, stranger. Let's make sure this is actually who I'm after. Um, yeah. Wow. Her quest is terrible. Her quest is garbage. I'm gonna follow her a little bit, I guess. Actually, she stopped. Go away, stranger. He's gonna have some fun over here. hell I'm annoyed I don't know where my last save was now was it she, when she was waking up. We ever load? Damn. It takes so long. Go away, You've got the hands of us. Go away, I don't understand why I can't seem to talk to her. That's charm. Illusion. Twelve points is not very much. I don't have anything better. Go away, stranger. I I don't understand. It says here when you first approach Oh 11 p.m. to 7 a.m.
Oops, not what I intended, but whatever. Be gone, stranger. I have business with Kinnereth. You seek training? If I were to aid you, you would first have to assist me. I would strip the creators of their works. You will help with this. Bring me 20 bear pelts as proof that you have helped tear nature asunder. Then we shall speak of spells and teaching. That is a terrible quest. You have not done that which I ask. That is an extremely terrible quest. 20 bears? 20? I gotta go find 20 bears. Because I've killed some even today, but I don't want to get the pelts because they just weigh me down. They're not worth enough. Now you tell me I gotta get 20 of them. That's gross. Looks like one over there. Maybe. Is that a sheep? Oh, that's not even... It's a wolf. I might have to find one bear and then magically end up with 19 more pelts. That may be what has to happen. I don't think I care enough to actually grind out 20 bears. Nope. Dude, <laughs> that would be too many even... That'd just be too many to carry. We got a troll over there. You wouldn't be able to carry 2,000. That'd be terrible, though. Yeah, I should be glad it's only 20 and not something like 2,000, like you said, but... I'll find the first one. And that'll get me the ID. And then I'll magically end up with more. Oh yeah, when I was using the, uh, the scroll dupe glitch. Of course. Hello, bear. Now do that 19 more times until I find them. Like, that sucks. Yeah, and it over encumbers me. Because I just carry too much all the time. Uh, bear pelt. No! Where'd it go? Not brown bear. Damn it. Uh, that sounds from... That sounds familiar, Tusk. E3. 228E3. I remember that. 228E3. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I think you have mentioned that.
20 bear pelts. Ooh, man, that was hard work finding those bears. Glad we managed to find them. I, I didn't know if we were ever going to get all 20 bears. Hey, but where there's a will, there's a way. We did it. The fact that it crashed right after I got the bear pelt, just, that was the icing on the cake. I was like, yep, I'm not doing this. We're gonna do it my way. There's an Oblivion Gate over here I might check out now. I don't want to do too much more though, it's getting a little late. What are you doing here? What do you want? Training. Very good. Very good indeed. The creators shall take notice okay, soon, soon enough. enough. And then they shall have me to deal with. You have done your part, so I shall do mine. What I know, I will teach you. Except for right now, because the training option's not lit up? The fuck, lady? Good day. What? They said 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. she'll train, except apparently not right now. Even though she she says she'll train me. This is garbage. Why is the, why are the NPCs in this game so garbage? It's my pleasure. Why do they why do they give them services if you can't use them? Because, yeah, they won't let... It, it was saying she won't train you when she's hunting, and that's most of the time. Good day. There. There's much I can show you. Pay attention. Let's see if we... Let's get to... Good that you want to... Let's see if we... I'm willing to... Knowledge... Let's see if we're good that you want to get in. Good that you want. Let's get to. Let's get to train. Pay attention. Good that you want to get in. I can show you. Good that you want to. Let's see if. Let's get to train. Good that you want. Let's see if. Let's get to. Pay attention. Good that you want to. Yep. Fire, frost, and lightning have flowed from your fingertips. You are now a master of destruction magic and could cast master level destruction spells. Goodbye. That lady annoys me. I don't like her. Uh, okay. Next. Could be, um, mysticism or illusion. Illusion is good for chameleon. We... I don't think we can get to... I don't think we can get to that person for Master Mysticism training, though. What is my, uh... Or, uh, illusion, I mean. What is my illusion at? 61. I need scissors. 61. So where is, uh, Mysticism? Reville Mages Guild, Eterianus. But what is mysticism up to? Oh, yeah, we need more. Okay. Eta Anus. Uh, I'm gonna pass on that gate. Oh, Finger of the Mountain updated. That's always nice.
Yeah, I might end up grinding illusion rather than buying the training. So Breville Mage's Guild, Ita Rienus. What time is it? Is it morning? Almost. Spam this for a bit until morning. Level up illusion for a bit. Yeah, because we get mysticism and illusion up. It's going to be most... Yeah, that's going to be all the magic. So then I'll be able to cast anything. That was uh, kind of my big goal for today is to just work on these um, magic things, mostly. I wanted to do persuasion, which we did, but that quest took longer than it anticipated because I didn't know I was going to have to go talk to every single beggar in the game. So yeah, I'm thinking this is good because maybe I can make like a bomb-ass chameleon spell um, if I get illusion high enough, and then I won't have to rely so much on the uh, potions because I'm just burning through that blood grass. It's hard to keep up. Oh, by the way, Tusk, are uh, you still there? Because I got a question for you. Do you know which version of Berserk 2016 you're watching? So what I mean by that is there was a TV broadcast and then there was the Blu-ray version. And the Blu-ray version's a lot better and I wonder if that's part of the reason that... I mean, honestly, I don't think I would have been bothered either way. But I didn't watch it until it was on Blu-ray. So... They... There were a lot of scenes. Like, you know the one where Guts is just kind of bouncing along and that one's, like, kind of funny? If you actually look at that side-by-side -side with the Blu-ray... On the Blu-ray, he's, like, moving and he's, like, holding his shoulder or something. And it's way more animated than it was on the original TV broadcast because they had to rush it out to get it ready for broadcast. And they did so they did a lot of updates on the Blu-ray one. So some of the animation that people were kind of not liking, I think they probably fixed a good chunk of that. And that's why I was curious if you knew which version you were watching, but I don't I don't know where you're watching it, and I don't know if it would be easy to tell unless you had side-by-side -side comparisons. But I, I kind of forgot all about that difference between the broadcast and the Blu-ray version and it popped up in a video I was watching the other day and I was like, oh wow, that is a huge difference. I kind of didn't really remember that because I only watched it when it was on Blu-ray. Burn through one more of these. Yeah, the problem with Illusion is it said that they were somewhere in the Arcane University and we don't actually have access to it yet, so I can't just go buy my training right now. I mean, it could be one of the buildings accessible from outside, but I highly doubt it. 
You have to earn your uh, entry to the Arcane University by getting all the recommendations from the Mages Guild, and we've yet to do that. I think someone's yelling outside. I'm gonna mute the game. Listen. I don't know if I'm hearing some sound in game or or if it's outside. You know what I should do? Turn on yeah. I've been holding shift and W this whole time, but I just pressed caps lock to turn on run. And I just press Q to do auto run. To do auto move, I should say. It's much better. Did you look at a comparison or something? Yeah, because you definitely do want to be watching the Blu-ray. It's significantly better. So what I'm doing right now, by the way, obviously training illusion, but I am going to do this until like morning when the Mages Guild wakes up and then go for training on mysticism in there. What is uh, mysticism again? It's 70 something, right? Oh, it's 60. Yeah, we need a lot of work on mysticism. Yeah, nice. Okay, so you're definitely watching a better version. Good. That might also be, like, I mean, you might have still enjoyed it either way, but it's definitely the better version. done with this one day. Yeah, Blu-ray is like pretty much always the superior way to go. Usually when I want to watch things, I just wait until I can buy it on Blu-ray. I have a shit ton of Blu-ray. What I actually do is I wait until I can buy it on Blu-ray and then I legally download a digital copy of it. Because I, it's, I prefer to be able to watch it on my computer. But I like having the physical copy. And it's kind of difficult to um, watch Blu-ray stuff on your computer because the way the licensing is ha, has been done, blame Sony, uh, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> So it's actually more difficult than you would imagine to watch a Blu-ray movie on your computer. Unless you want to pay for some software and stuff. That's not a hundred percent the case, like there are some workarounds. But again, it's just a pain in the ass. I actually couldn't find a good rip online for Berserk 2016, so I manually ripped both seasons from my own copies of the Blu-ray. Just so I could have a digital version. Um, I guess it didn't get enough attention, didn't get enough uh, love that no one wanted to do the rip. And so the only ones I could find online were from the TV version, not the Blu-ray. I mean, I think actually I had season one, but it was season two that I couldn't find on I couldn't find a, a Blu-ray rip online. It's it did not go over well in the community, no. What was Illusion looking like? Hey, Illusion 69. I'll go just a little bit longer here. Still got to pass a little bit more time so everyone can wake up.
I do want to start uh, getting ready for bed and all that. I guess as long as I get... Yeah, as long as I start working by 8, then I can be done by 16. Get some tacos and stuff, and then hopefully stream on time tomorrow. Yo, the first time someone ever... So, I didn't know what food poisoning meant. And I still remember the first time, like, somebody was sick or something, they, they didn't show up to class or whatever. And then, so, like, somebody else was like, yeah, they have food poisoning. I thought that meant they were gonna die. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know it was, like, a temporary thing. I thought that meant you were gonna die. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I feel like we've actually talked about this before. But that amused me. And they're like, no, he'll be back in like a day or two. He'll be fine. Actually, though, to be fair, food poisoning can kill you because something like salmonella can kill you, and that's a type of food poisoning. But in general, it's not that big of a deal. It's like gastroenteritis, and it'll go away pretty quickly. I keep it in caps lock instead of tab for some reason when I'm trying to go into my menu. Uh, where's the cheap one? That one. Now, Salmonella doesn't necessarily kill you, but it, it can put you in the hospital and it can kill you. Salmonella is super bad. I didn't realize how bad it was. Like, I I know when I was a kid, I was always, like, scared of it. Because I was, you know, I was always told if you eat raw eggs or something, you get salmonella. I was just always afraid of, like, catching it, of getting it. But I never knew how bad, how severe it was until later. Illusion increased. Oh, are you just looking at that picture? That frog is tiny. Tiny, tiny froggo. See if I can pop my neck. Oh yeah, that was good. Pop my neck so good it made my dick hard. Rocking a solid 1.5 centimeters right now. I know. I don't mean to brag, but sometimes you just sometimes it just happens. Got a lot to be proud of, you know. Your illusion skill increased. Pretty close to 70. Are we 73? Um, yep, 73 illusion. And what time do we have? Nine? Okay, perfect. We'll go until I hit 75 illusion, then we'll go for the mysticism training. Yeah, illusion may be one I just have to grind out on my own. Fortunately, illusion is really easy to grind out. As we can see here.
I could do this while doing other things. While doing other quests or whatever. It's way better than, uh, like, Destruction and Restoration. Illusion's one of the faster ones. Alteration may be the fastest. But, like, Alteration, Mysticism, and Illusion level up pretty quickly. Um, Restoration and Destruction. I don't know what it is about those. They're so slow. Like, even when you make a Destruction training spell on yourself, like, to hurt yourself, it's just so slow to level up. Why? See, I find it hard to believe, even if you're playing a character that, like, vows to not use weapons, I find it really hard to believe that you would ever, like, legitimately get all these leveled up without training. Look how many times I have to cast a spell just to get a single level here. How many times are you really casting spells? without intentionally grinding it out that you're going to get this thing up to level 100. That just doesn't seem reasonable to me. Because you also think about it in terms of um, if you're fighting, you know, you're using magic, that's only going to be destruction for the most... I mean, you could do a couple other things like support spells and all that, but that's only really going to be destruction that you're focusing on. Oh, Mythic Dawn dude. Yeah, I bet you regret that, don't you? Oh, he came from the castle. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the main thing you're going to be leveling up offensively would be destruction magic, and it's really, really, really slow. And... Even, even then, like, I have a hard time believing you get that up to 100 as fast as you would get, like, a blade skill or something up to 100. Especially because you think of magic as dealing more damage per hit than, like, a sword or something. That's kind of the idea. You're using a resource, a limited resource like Magicka to cast it, so... I don't know. You expect it to be stronger. As a new expert of illusion, you know what is and isn't real. And how to fool the minds of your opponents, you can now cast expert level illusion spells. How about mixing up some potion? Uh, what was the last song I listened to? Was it Beneath the Forest of, of Mushrooms? Let's see. Scroll well, way back. Read any good books lately? I've been reading Fundaments of Alchemy. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, Beneath the Forest of Mushrooms in my ass. That would be the That would be the new name of it. Beneath the Forest of Mushrooms in my ass. Well met, guildmate. Hello, guildmate. Belle Delphine, what's up? Let me get some of that bath water, girl. What's up? Why are we closing doors? Hiding something? That's suspicious. Whatever happened to the adoring fan? He just kind of fucked off, didn't he? Maybe he died somewhere. <laughs> that clips. Uh-oh. Well met. He's either down here. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Me that training. Have a look what around. spells do you have? You Ooh. All I like that. Level four chameleon spell. It doesn't it doesn't seem that great though. 35% is not all that good. Ooh, we got some illusion too. Better charm. Does it demoralize? Up to level 40, that's pretty good.
visibility. Silence in 20 feet for 15 seconds. Nice. By all these spells. Should should haggle. <laughs> Don't care. I appreciate you. We'll make money. We'll make money. It's fine. Knowledge. It Pay attention and I can show you. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we let's get to try. Hey. Knowledge is eight sixty-nine. Now we're up to seventy, so that's it. I'm gonna ask about training. spells, recharging, and training in mysticism. You know as much about mysticism as I do. If you wish to learn more, the Gale can teach you. Visit her at the Lairwin Guild Hall. But be aware that she's a I think I remember her. Odd. Oh no, are we gonna have to like fix her brain? Because I think we talked to her and she was like, speak to so-and-so, help me. Hello, What'd you say? Last Horizon. Yeah, Beneath the Forest of Mushrooms was the song, and if you're supposed to add In My Ass on the end of the title, it'd be Beneath the Forest of Mushrooms in My Ass. See torchlight 100 feet. I was using moonlight before it's 50 for 180. This goes up to 100 feet for 480. That's yeah, that's really good. I like it. Oh, now mysticism is getting a lot better though. Still can't do that, but you know, whatever. Lay a win. I was nervous about a crash. Hello. Hello. We're going to try and do this training depending on how long this takes. And then I'm going to level up. So I got multiple level ups I can do. So we'll go to Anvil to my home and I'll just sleep a bunch of times and level up. And that'll be my character's theoretical maximum level without doing other cheese or whatever. Without pulling out some Vermunda cheese. Some smegma. Yet I cannot hear. You listen, yet I cannot speak. When the voices grow quiet, then shall our time be at hand. Agata has heard the voices. Though I speak for them. Training. You have done much to prevent the flow of oblivion into Tamriel. The world is in your debt. And I am at your service. She just does it anyway, okay. Knowledge is yours. She's all freaked out and stuff, and now she's like, I'll train you though. Alright, 25 levels. I'm willing to let's get to let's see if The mysteries of magic are or no uh, 30 levels, my bad. The mysteries of magic are slowly revealing themselves to you. You are now an expert of mysticism and can cast expert level mysticism spells. Pay attention. Pay attention. Knowledge, knowledge, I can show you, I'm willing to, let's get to, I can show you, I can show you, I'm willing, knowledge, 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 pay attention, knowledge. This puts us up to 90. I can show you some. Why are you saying that? There's much I can, I can what, show you What would have happened with No More Heroes? What was the song? Pay attention. What was the name of the song that you would have listened to? Good that you want to get knowledge. The mysteries of magic are slowly revealing themselves to you. You are now a master of mysticism and can cast master level mysticism spells. Dun dun dun. It's pretty sexy. Let's take a look at it. Mysticism, we had uh, detect life. Ooh, that's good. The best one that I have is down to 56. Spell Reflection. That's a level 100 spell. And I can finally cast it, so that's cool. Um, spell Absorption. 
It costs 69. Nice. Soul Trap. I think I have like a really good Soul Trap here, don't I? Oh, right. Telekinesis is good. Remote manipulation only costs four. Let's take a look at this. Check this out. So I have 173. Now I have, okay, I have 169. 165. Come on, it's not working. 161. Oh, don't tell me the mod broke it. I'm mad about that. No, I think the mod broke the cool mysticism thing. I wonder if I could re-enable that. They consider it a bug or something. I consider it a feature. I would like to get that back. But other than that, um, let's just burn some more illusion training. Do this until I run out of magicka, and then we'll go level up. Uh, in Anvil at the house, and then that's going to be it for today's leveling up and training session. So then tomorrow, when I do a real proper stream, uh, yesterday we left off where I was completing all the Daedric quests, and I believe we have four more Daedric quests to go. No, you don't have to do them all. You only have to do one and then bring an artifact to Martin Septum, and he'll use that for the ritual. But I decided it was a good opportunity to do all the Daedric quests. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we'll uh, wrap up those last ones tomorrow. I see no way they're going to take very long. Most of them I could do within 20 to 30 minutes. So we should be in good shape to finish those tomorrow and actually continue with the main story. They have a song called Money Shot. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know the name Sonic Juice, but I did listen to all the stuff you sent me. I just don't know it by name, right? I don't remember names that well until I hear them a bunch. Looks like you're handy with a blade. I legit want to see if I can just give myself back the mysticism bug. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I think I might know what you're, what you're talking about. Or we will run out of magicka eventually. What's my uh, money situation like now? It's 20,000-ish? 16, yeah. We had 130,000 or something at the start of this. And now we're down to like 16,000. Training is expensive. There is a secret to it, though. I don't know if that's been fixed by any... I say fixed. I don't want to use the word fix, because I think it should stay in the game. But I would be disappointed to learn that potentially some of these unofficial patches or something could have fixed this feature. So basically, if you use a, um, a drain skill spell, or if it's drained for any reason, and then you um, go to a trainer and train, they think you're... Sk so, like, let's say I have a hundred blade, right? And then I make a spell that says drain blade 80 points for, for two seconds or something. Just long enough, I cast it, and I talk, to a, I talk to the trainer. Now, time freezes, so the trainer thinks my blade skill is level 20. So then I can buy training. Um, well, that, I mean... Okay, that... 
explains something. I'm going a little bit further than I wanted to there. Because then it wouldn't really do much of anything if you did that at level 100 and drained it down by 80 because um, most skills in the game don't actually do anything above level 100. One of, the, one of, if not the only thing that does, is acrobatics. Acrobatics uh, does things up all the way until level 255. But I don't know how well that would work if when the drain runs off, if you get to keep all the... if you get to keep the levels above 100. That's something I have to check. But... I mean, let's say you're at, like, level 80, you, and you drain it down by, like, 60 points. Then you could buy some levels, and they're cheaper, and they do get around some issues. So there's some kind of exploity stuff you can do there. And I hope that hasn't been patched out by these mods. Yeah, Tosk, it can be hard to get music, though out of games sometimes it can be hard to get the isolated files depending on how the game you know what the game is for how easy it is to access the files etc so that's probably why that's probably why you only get it with cutscenes because maybe it's a little hard to isolate the song I don't know. Only magic. It's absurd. my illusion up to now is it about is it up to like 80 ish yet 79 after this next couple of casts level 47 Guess what? Level 48. Guess what? Level 49. Guess what? Level 50. Alrighty. So we have hit my character's theoretical maximum level. All of my major skills are at 100. There's nothing we could ever do to increase that anymore. We can crash the game, though. Oh, no, I thought we crashed. The music stopped, so... I was gonna say the Godhead woke up. <laughs> That's my new meme. After the lore dump I gave earlier. That's my new meme, is that when the game crashes, the godhead is waking up. And that's what's actually happening. <laughs> I kill it. I don't know about all that. Let's see... What? Hang on. I have Absorb. Yeah, let me check for something.
Who is this? I need to talk to this person. In Grad Hall. Salinas Vecinas. What time is it? It's daytime. I have an idea. I can warp to Skingrad immediately from here. He should be awake. Hello, apprentice. Yes. Yeah, dude, you're getting super close. Your bravery is the talk of Skingrad. Well done. Cool. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Ah. Uh. I am... That'll work. Okay, I'll buy that. Drain... Damn, that's good. I'll buy that. Oh, we gotta haggle. Alright, we're gonna try this. Pleasure. What's he training? A lot to learn. I don't have a lot to learn. Bitch, I have a max conjuration skill. You shut the hell up. Shut your whore mouth. That was a crash. I could tell by the stuttering audio. I'm not sure if it does that on your end, though. Kind of stuttered and skipped for a second before the before it completely cut out. <laughs> yeah, you got to do top uh, top points or something, I guess. Tusk. It does stutter on your end. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell sometimes what's happening on my end and what's happening on your end. Um, sometimes, like, the loading screens on my end, the bar doesn't move, but if I look at the stream, it does move. Weird things like that can happen. Looks like the adoring fan is back. Sorry, I gotta walk around both sides. Well, we got a problem. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Drain skill. Let's try this. Drain skill, acrobatic self, 98 points for four seconds. Right. Let's take a look at this actually, because it's cheap to cast. Drain acrobatics on self. Here's my normal jump. Actually, we're going to get. I'm going to point my cursor right here, the top of the door. Now, I'm not going to touch the mouse. Let's see how high my jump goes. It goes like, not to the middle of that circle, but about a quarter of the way up that circle. Maybe about a fifth of the way. Oof. We don't get anywhere near as high. I like being able to compare like that. 
I like how we could see his eyeballs and stuff now. Oh, we're actually near where I want to be. Um, yeah. Now, about 3 p.m., I think, is when this guy's available for training, so let's check it out. Uh, maybe he's going to do it now. Nope. All right, we'll wait until about 3 p.m. I'm going to see... If I can cheese, because I would love to do that. Love to cheese. What? I can show you some new things. No. So why? Stop why talking. must patches take away all the fun stuff? I don't like it. I wanted to be able to keep leveling myself up with trainers. Damn. What? Let's get to training. Oh. Knowledge is the key to success in any endeavor. I don't know what he's doing. But I like it. It only happens in the training menu, too. Like, if I come out here, he doesn't move. The moment I go into the training menu, Let's get to training. he vibrates. Someone put him on vibrate setting. I'm through talking to you. You don't gotta be rude about it. All right. I think, uh, think that's going to be it. So we did what I set out to do. I got, well, for the most part. Um, I would have hoped to have also done probably a couple more of these, to be honest. Particularly, um, it'd be nice to have finished Illusion, but whatever, I can live without it. Um, what else? Maybe security just for fun, but meh. It's whatever. I mean, we're done with most skills in the game now. Light armor needs a little bit. Marksman needs a little bit. Pretty, pretty good overall. We're almost a completely maxed out character. So I kind of, I like it. I like it. I'm happy. So yeah, my character's theoretical max level is 50. I might be able to do some cheese to get it higher. We'll see what happens. But my max level is, my theoretical max is 50. Which unfortunately leaves us with only 93 luck. We have a plus 10 on it because we were in that amulet. I would have loved to have max luck as well. We'd have to get seven more levels somehow. Okay. That's gonna be it. So yeah, set out to do what I wanted to do today. Just training, leveling up, talking about lore, talking about uh, the godhead and dreams and keem and dragon breaks and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, all kinds of weird lore the Elder Scrolls lore is batshit insane. I love it. Um, <laughs> what drugs were they on when they wrote it? Yes. The answer is yes. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to do a big long outro today. I'll be back tomorrow. This is like a, an off day. I'm not normally streaming on Mondays, but like I said, I got done working out. I got done eating. I had free time. And I, um, I, I would have liked to work on some code tonight, but I wanted to get this done tonight so I didn't have to think about it like tomorrow and I could just focus on questing and stuff tomorrow during stream so yeah um it's about it actually let me do one more thing let me do one thing let's take a look at the jump look at this long ass fall very low fall damage we'll do it again Look at that. Ah, oh, so good. So much better. Um, all right. So, yeah. The thing I would normally say... No, I still I still have it, but I didn't have... I didn't get around to messing with that today. Um, 
Let's see, what was I going to say now? Uh, yeah, not going to do a big long thing. Uh, like I said, normally this is not the day that I would be doing um, streams. Normally it's Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I will be back tomorrow. We'll continue with Daedric Shrines, main quest, all that fun stuff. Um, that's about it. Thank you, you know, people who dropped in today, especially on an off day. Do appreciate that. Um, hit that follow button if you're on YouTube. This will be on YouTube if you're on YouTube watching this for some reason. Like, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all that fun stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a, have a good day, have a good night, whatever it is. Wherever you're at, take it easy. I'm going to try and do this one a little bit better than I did it yesterday.